When World War I broke out, the United States reaction was largely one of relief. We were in Fortress America. There's an ocean between us and uh, Europe. So it's not like the United States was gonna get attacked. Uh, the idea of neutrality was also promoted by the Monroe Doctrine. Remember, this is that concept long, uh, 100 years prior to this, where the Europeans would stay out of the Western hemisphere and the United States would take care of it. And the United States would in turn stay out of European affairs. So not our problem. Wilson, if he had his choice, would have supported Great Britain, along with the majority of the country. But immigration plays a pretty important role here because the old immigrants, if you remember the old immigrants, uh, they were German and Irish. So we had 9 million people of German descent, immigrants, direct immigrants, relatives of immigrants that would have supported Germany in this fight. And about four and a half million Irish immigrants, and they just detested the British because of the way they treated them, uh, leading to things like the Irish potato famine. Economically, the United States is going to support uh, Britain and France. Um, uh, they were all in with trading uh, to the British and the French, and exports from the United States quadrupled during this time period. Uh, and most of this is going to British and uh, Britain and France, the allies. And part of, that, part of that is because of the blockade. Now, Wilson is going to call for freedom of the seas, but it's not going to really work out because the British are not going to allow them to trade with Germany. So the United States says, well, if we have to trade, let's make a lot of money on this. If we have to trade with Britain and France, so be it. Um, but uh, after the first year or so, the British and the French had ran out of direct money. So they're buying everything on credit. In the end, the British and the French owed about $2 billion. That's with a B. And that's not in today's money. So they are going to owe an incredible amount of money to the United States. And the United States realizes that if Britain and France loses the war, they might not pay that money back. So uh, the United States is all in on helping support Britain and France win this war. There's also a farm boom. Uh, during World War I, the European continent and the British were all focused on fighting the war and they didn't really have time and they didn't really have the ability to uh, plant their own crops. So the United States uh, farm incomes uh, went up by about 25%, which is gonna have an impact on the 1920s. Just remember that for later. Um, the British blockaded the Germans, which means they put their ships around Germany, wouldn't let the United States trade with them. They also had a uh, monopoly on communications. There is an underground cable running from Britain to the United States, which means the United States got all their information about the war from Britain, which means they were also fed a lot of propaganda from the British point of view. So all of this taken together, the United States is already preconditioned to support the British and the French, uh, the allies in this war. And then the Lusitania happens. Lusitania was a passenger ship. Uh, it had Americans on board, uh, and the Germans were using submarine warfare to try to break the British blockade. They had given a warning that any ship that goes into that uh, restricted area would be sunk, no questions asked, and Lusitania, a passenger ship, was sunk by the German subs. Uh, the Germans said that there was weapons on board. The British denied it to no end. And it turns out later that they were actually trying to smuggle weapons and supplies into Britain. But it didn't matter because at the time, Americans were on board. 128 Americans were on that ship uh, and they're all going to be killed. I believe it's 50 of those Americans were infants. So when the Lusitania sunk, the United States is ripped ready to go. Wilson prevents outright war. Wilson keeps the United States from joining the war right then, got an apology and a promise from the Germans to stop bombing uh, American ships uh, stop this unrestricted submarine warfare, but the United States is ready to start the, entering the war really soon.